By this time you know AEM sites and pages are the most important part of AEM sites. So to understand pages you must know the page operation and page properties. So as part of this tutorial I'll talk about what are the page operation and what are the page properties. You can create any number of the pages in your website. So to create page first you have to choose your websites and then create button as I said and there is an option called page. When you click on this, there will be the templates. It will ask you to choose a template. Based on your project, the option might be different. What are the templates allowed for your project? Those will be available here. I'll take example of VDetail. So once you choose this template and say next, it will ask you some uh, boxes like what is the title? What is the name? So basically title is what is display here and name is what is the URL means what what the name of this page in URL okay basically the URL so let's say test page okay if you want to give name means specific uh, name for the URL you can if you don't want it will take this as in lowercase letters with a hyphen okay rest of the things tags page title navigation title they are that stuff as well this thing you can customize this as per your project okay so based on your project you can change this screen here some additional features and this one so just create once you are done you you can straight away open it or you can say mark done so let me open this so once this page is open the first thing you will notice in the url so let's say if you see here editor.html editor.html you'll add it here to open this page in edit mode okay so by default when you create and open it will open in edit mode after that, this is the path of your page. You see here, this is the path, right? Now, you see few already layout here. Some content is already added. So, the content you want that to be available to the page after creating a page. So, that you can add in template. So, these things, if you see header, this navigation and the footer, these has been added in template, okay? There's a space available here to add your component specific to this page. So if you see layout container, everything is a component in AEM, okay? This header is also component, but this component is added in template. We'll talk about that in next tutorial, okay? So if you see, there's a space where you can add your component for a specific page. Earlier, we used to call it parses. You see here, drag component here. So this is used to be called earlier parses. Now also the name, you can call it as a parses. So in this, if you click on this, you will have a plus icon. You click on this plus icon, you can add components. You must understand these are only allowed component. What do you mean by allowed component? So there are a number of components in AEM. There, there can be multiple projects. But what are the component allowed to this template as well as to this parses? Only those components be, will be available here to add. So you can add, just add any component here. Let's say I add image, okay? So image has been added. You can add a image by authoring. So now here top bar, these are the important options. So here you can add edit mode. You can define a mode here, edit layout. Layout mode is where you can set the layout of it, okay? So if you see, you can change the width of it. You can define the columns, right? You can define the columns here. Uh, developer mode where it will show some analytics of this page like context hub header we'll talk about this later time wrap that we, i'll talk about this and the tagging also i'll talk about this there's a one more option called preview you can preview right now if you see let me change to edit mode if you see now this page won't look like like this to the end user so if you want to see this how the end user will see this page right you can click on this preview uh, let me change this developer mode for okay see this so the page will be look like this right now because i did not add any component to it now change to edit mode now on the left hand side you will see some options here this one toggle side panel and this menu page right page information so what i'll the so first let me click here so once you click you will see the three options here on the left hand side right first one is the assets 
here you will see all the assets has been added right the, that can be the images document and the videos you can search those as well and you can use those from here so if you see i added a image component so if i want to add any image here i can drag and drop from here right the image has been added so these are the assets you can change the criteria of filter but that is for some other time second one if you see there's the component so whatever you were doing here by adding this plus button you can drag and drop from here as well you will see the same component which is allowed for this this drag okay this parses so you can drag and drop let's say i drag and drop so i can add this component here third one is that this is content tree so whatever you added on your page you can see from here if you see the first one is a layout container which is this okay inside layouts container i added these four components right for now this page looks pretty simple but when you add it hundreds of components it will be very difficult to find components using this content tree you can find those components and straight away you can click on this and then you can add it those components don't worry if you don't understand about components we will have a separate tutorial okay so these are the options now if you see the another icon this menu icon if you click on this you will see a number of options here i'll talk about the page properties later the rollout rollout i have already explained in last tutorial if you want to move this page to your uh, other websites right so then you can use this start workflow if you want to start any workflow using this page as a payload you can use that option okay we'll see the the uh, workflow i have already explained about workflow but if you i open this it will ask you the model and rest of the things you can go and check there page lock if you want to page lock let's say you lock this page so after locking this page no one will be able to perform any operation on this page let's say two people simultaneously logged in and if you lock this page another guy won't be able to perform any operation on this page so this is useful publish page when you move this page from author to publish so all the publish instances which has replication agent this page will be published to those instances unpublished obviously it will move back it will remove from the publish instances edit template so by click on this you can straight away go to the template the template by which this page has been created okay so you can straight away go and update your template thing template related stuff one thing you must understand if you are using static templates this option will be only for the editable templates if your project is using the old static template this option won't work view as a publish so as i said this option preview same you can do using click on this right so this will be available as it will look like to the end user for now what you must understand here you can do it through the url as well just remove editor.html and add wcm mode equal to disabled so if you add like this it will open in a view as a publish mode okay let me close this right uh, view and admin this is like uh, if let's say you are a user and you have some less permissions by this you can view with the whole permission like the permission a admin has now let's go back and see how you can see the operations page related operation in site console so this is my site console this page has been created now if you want to perform some operations from here what you have to do just click on this means select this as soon as you select you will see these options here right so in this you can perform some operations so this edit by click on edit it will open the page in edit mode how it is opened here if i click on this it will open in edit mode right same way properties means you can open the page properties okay i did not explain page properties i'll show you okay lock means the same kind of lock you can copy this page right you can copy and paste this page somewhere else move means it you can straight away move this page right the simple operation copy move so if you move this page will be moved from here to somewhere else wherever you copy move okay quick publish it will publish manage publication you can schedule publication actually for this for a particular time you can publish or unpublish and you can schedule as well here right uh, let me click on this and the delete is obviously the delete operation 
you will see here few things create so you will see number of options here like workflow the same way you start workflow versions i'll discuss the versions in a separate topic because this is important page you can create its child page under to this and site this all these operations you have already seen in the create button so these were the page operation as a higher level just practice those if you have any question come back to me second part of the page related stuff is the page properties so page properties you can either click here and you can go to the page properties or you can open the page and this menu the first option is page properties it's the same thing right from here also it will open the same properties of the page which you selected so this page property you see the multiple tabs here first thing you must understand this is specific to the v retail okay there's some standard field but you can customize these field as per your need okay you can update the dialog of your page component we'll see what is the page component okay in coming tutorial but in nutshell the thing is you can change these as per your need you can add more tabs you can add more field as per your need okay so these are page properties so you can update things few of things are already there which you why you, you know you added while creating page so you see there's a number of things available you can update those okay we'll talk about these later what is the purpose of these the purpose of this tutorial is to let you understand what is page properties so whatever you add here here in the page properties those will be local to this page only okay those properties will not share to another page okay so that's why these are called page properties okay so whatever you add whatever you save those are related to this page only until unless if you are any of the page using inherited properties, we'll talk about this inherited properties later. Okay, so you can add your properties. So as you don't know right now, I did not explain this in this series. So AEM is built upon JCR, Java Content Repository. It uses JCR, Java Content Repository to save your data or information. Nowadays, you can use MongoDB as well, but that is a different case. As a beginner, you must understand the JCR, Java Content Repository. So I'll talk about that later. So finally, at a lower level, all the information is stored at JCR node. Everything is a node here, okay? So when you save this, right, the page properties, page properties are always stored in JCR content. So I already explained crxt so let me open crxt i'll show you where these are storing actually so if you see here my page path is content v retail language master so if you come here you have to come to content v retail language master language master right inside language master it is a en okay go to en that way you can navigate to that page or you can simply and the page was this one okay or you can simply go like copy this copy this and let me close this first you can simply paste it here and hit okay somehow it is not opening but you can copy paste like this okay this is already open so now now we went to this page, all the page properties are stored under JCR content node. So if I click on this, you will see a number of properties. Obviously the names at the field level were different. Here you will find the different names and these properties can be used as per your project written or project development. So if you see, uh, if I change the title, let me, now you see the eight properties. If I go here and change some page properties, okay let me add i'll not add tag actually let me check this title hidden title and let's say test title right navigation title let's say uh, a navigation title subtitle right these fields you can customize as per a project again i'm saying okay and let's say description okay let's say this only if i save this now okay so these properties will be stored here if i refresh this let me refresh this okay and if i click now you will see the properties has been added whatever i added there so these are local to this page if i go to the another page and 
click on JCR, you won't find these properties, right? So these are the page properties. So I try to explain things at a high level. Those are the simple stuff, very simple. So you can just go back and navigate through your AEM. If you have any question, please add your comment. Thank you.